Stella and Boo are sharing cat grass. They're sharing cat grass cupcakes. And I heard, oh, oh. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals.
Hello, Boo. How are you? It is 4.22 p.m. right now. I got home a little while ago, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes ago, but I had to take care of some things, and now it's time to do my cat chores. So let's say hello to Boo. Hello, Boo. Boo was very happy when I got home. He was meowing at me. He is so happy. And it looks like he found some catnip, which he is rolling around in. Hey, Boo. Boo got a whole bunch of pets a little while ago. I sat down on the couch to have a bite to eat, and he pretty much crawled into my lap. And here's Stella. Hey, Stella. Stella was the first cat to greet me from downstairs. Stella came upstairs. She's not too happy with me because, you know, she's been downstairs. But she was laying in her royal bed. Man, when I just turned the camera on, she got up from her royal bed. And now she's going to walk around a little bit. Is she? She's going to lay on the scratch and roll. There's Simba. Hello, Simba. Simba came up to say hello. Hello, Stella. You are a good girl, right? Hello, Simba. Stella scratched on the scratching rug. Now Simba's scratching on it. I have not been downstairs yet, so fingers crossed everything is fine down there. Everything has been fine upstairs. No unwanted vomit or poop or anything. Boo, are you playing? So what I have to do now that I got home is I need to turn off the automatic feeders and I need to refresh all of the water bowls and I need to scoop the litter. So this is Boo's automatic feeder. Fingers crossed it went off and worked okay. Um, every time I checked on the security cameras, this was empty, so I'm hoping it did go around. Um, for breakfast today, they would have gotten crunchies and freeze-dried raw food. For breakfast, um, for dinner yesterday, it would have been crunchies and freeze-dried raw food. Uh, for breakfast, it would have been raw food and freeze-dried raw food. And for dinner, the previous day would have been raw food and crunchies. So let's see. Let's see. Is there anything in here? Fingers crossed. It is completely empty. Look, there's like nothing. Boo really enjoyed his food. Okay, so I just turned that off. Um... This needs to be washed out, but for now I just leave it here. Um, and then after I go do the rest of the chores, either later today or tomorrow, I'll go back and clean this. I just came downstairs and the first thing I noticed is someone has been tearing up cardboard. Okay, let's check out this other feeder. I see some crunchies. I see a freeze dried bite. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's empty, yay. Who ate this, Simba? Simba's down here with me. Simba, who ate that? Did you eat all that food? Simba says hello. Okay, here's the second feeder. And the second feeder is empty. There's just a little bit of crunchies from breakfast. I should say that um, when I got home and opened the door between the uh, upstairs and the downstairs, Boo just came straight down here and he was down here for a few minutes and I assumed he was just like eating whatever was left in these feeders and that's probably what he did. One feeder left. Did the cats like their food? The cats loved all of their food. Look at that. That was a home run. They ate the um, primal raw rabbit bites. They ate a scoop of the homemade raw food. Uh, they ate freeze-dried food. They ate crunchies. They had treats. So they had a little bit of everything. That's awesome. It's about 5 p.m. right now, and it's uh, it's still raining. And there's High Docs. I don't know where he was, but he just came out looking for food. And look at this. Look, I'm only like a foot away from him. The camera is so close. I just gave him some canned food with water and herbs because the raw food is still defrosting, and High Docs is very hungry. Hello, High Docs. Okay, I'll go. I don't wanna, I don't wanna disturb you, Hi Ducks. Eat your food. It's 5.30 p.m. right now. And I just got back, I had to run out, and I gave Hi Ducks food before I left, and he ate a little bit more than half of it. 
he was meowing on the patio. So I was like, okay, Hydrox, what do you want? You got food. So I came inside and I made sure the door stays open. And Hydrox came up to the door. He was meowing. And as, as soon as Stella came up to the door, and you guys just saw what just happened, Hydrox stopped meowing because he was meowing for the cats. And there you go. People that say cats are solitary creatures really don't know cats. Cats like to be around other cats. Cats like to be around people. The only people that cats don't like to be around are people that are not very nice people. Because cats love nice people. And cats love nice cats. It's just, they don't like people that are not nice. And as I said that, look, they have relationships with each other just like humans have relationships with each other. Sometimes humans get in fights and sometimes cats get in fights, right, Boo? Sometimes humans misunderstand each other and sometimes cats misunderstand each other. Sometimes humans get possessive and territorial over things and cats do also. So in many ways, cats are similar to humans. And if cats were such solitary creatures, then Hydrax would not be hanging out in my yard. He would not be hanging out on my patio. He would not be hanging out near my back door. Cats like company. Right, Boo? That's why Boo cries. If I leave Boo alone for too long without the other cats, Boo cries because he's lonely. Right, Boo? Boo gets lonely if he's left all alone. He doesn't like it. He cries. This is what happened when I tried to grow cat grass in cupcake wrappers in a muffin tin did not really work very well see how scraggly they are look at that Stella and Boo are sharing cat grass they're sharing cat grass cupcakes and I heard oh oh and I just heard Simba jump down from a cat tower oh no it was Splash here comes Splash It's really scraggly cat grass. I put a lot of seeds in there and um, they didn't grow. Or maybe, maybe I did not put enough seeds in there, but I remember putting quite a lot of seeds in each one. So they'll each get a few blades of grass. Be nice to each other. Be nice. It's 8 p.m. and Hydrax has been hanging out on the mat by the back door. So every time I go near the back door, then he walks away. So I've been kind of staying away from the back door and um, he's been just hanging out here on the mat. So that's cool. Um, it looks like the rain let up a little bit. It was raining really hard before and then it turned into drizzle and hopefully it stopped now. So I am going to go outside and give him some fresh food. I just gave Hydrax a bowl of homemade raw food on the patio, but for some reason he's looking for food under the patio table. So I'm going to move this over to that side. So I just put it under the patio table with the rest of the food from before that he did not eat. It's almost 11 p.m. I'm here with the cats. and They're going to have some kitty cravings with real salmon. And I don't know where Simba is, but hopefully he'll show up. Splash is here, Boo's here, Stella's here. Oh, there's Simba. I don't know where he came running from. But all four cats are here and I have the crunchy pizza. So instead of individual plates, they are going to be eating. On the pizza. Instead of crunchies right now, they have these treats. All four cats are eating nicely on the pizza. These treats really smell fishy. Simba's eyeing a treat that's on the ground. Boo's backing away. Maybe they can't see the treats really good. Here. Boo.
Ooh, right here. Let's see who's going to get it. So when Simba stands on the pizza and it goes around, it doesn't bother him. But if he tries, but if I tried to put him on the exercise wheel, which goes around, he hates it. What I'm thinking this pizza could be good for is um, they have that little mouse that runs around. Potentially it would run good on this pizza because it is a solid surface and the edges are slightly raised. So that could work out well. Are you guys done? I have some tasty sticks here. I'm going to cut one of these up for the cats. Now, I don't want to give the cats crunchies because they had crunchies for breakfast today. Oops, sorry, boo. I'm sorry. And for dinner yesterday. So, okay, boo, hold up. They all got a piece of a tasty stick. Except Splash is not eating his. What you doing, Simba? Oh, there's a crunchy over there? Okay, get it, it's on the rug. Stella just ate Splash's tasty stick. Okay, you guys done? You done? about 11 30 p.m. right now I'm just about to go to bed and look at Boo. <laughs> Boo laying on the chair with his carrot. Boo loves his carrot. You're tired. You're tired, boo. Okay, time for bed, boo. Good night, boo. Good night, Stella. Good night, Simba. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.